Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your reading. So um, before I go into this spread, let me just uh, give you an image. So first of all, there, there are two things. Um, the first one that I saw is, uh, I see this man, he is on an island. And it's a very small island, like you see the island, the palm trees, and then this man. And he's wearing board shorts, he's got his sunglasses on, and he's got like a beach ball. And, uh, you know, it's a really nice tropical paradise. Blue water, white sand, uh, really nice weather. And I just feel like he's on this island alone. Okay, he, he's on this island alone. And he's looking around like, is there anybody here who can play ball with me? And he's looking around and, you know, as he shouts it out, I just see it echo across the waters. And I, I just feel like, you know, he, he's on this island pretty much by himself. The second message that I'm seeing is um, I see this, I guess it's like an ostrich, you know, the, the ostrich with its head in the sand in like a little hole. And then the, the head is like stuck in the sand. Okay. So let me just bring that uh those two images back in a little bit so the the first message that i was getting from with the man on the beach or on the island is um it's literally you know it's time for you to connect to or find a community of people who have like-minded goals who have like-minded energies and i feel like you're at a point where you are in need of you know playfulness recreation doing things that are less serious you know going swimming doing things that you enjoy playing sports and getting even physically more active um getting more sunlight getting out and doing things and connecting with people in a very playful or in a very non-serious manner okay and then that imagery with the ostrich, with the head stuck in the sand, it's almost like, it's almost like there's a lot of responsibilities that, that require your attention. And when we talk about responsibilities, we think of it uh, in more of a serious way, like work, you know, cooking for yourself, cleaning for yourself, taking care of the kids, laying out your clothes so that you can wake up the next day and then know exactly what to wear. You hop into those clothes and then you go to work. And then, you know, rinse, repeat. That's what it feels like to me. So uh, there is a need here to have a little bit more balance when it comes to your work life and your personal life. There is a need here to have like a, a, a balance between your finances, the time that you devote to, you know, accumulating the, the finances or the financial stability and the time that you allocate for yourself to have some fun, to do fun activities, to do things that will allow your heart, your soul to kind of uh, replenish itself. And I guess to feel a little bit more human and less robotic. Okay. So what I'm seeing here with this spread is first of all, we have here the temperance card and I'm using the, I think this is the Thoth deck. So we have here the temperance card, managing and kind of balancing out these really disparate energies between us. Okay. Um, and I, I especially feel this is a card here. If you look at the, the two animals, there's an, uh, an energy of a little bit of animosity coming through. And there's also, you know, the, the lion, it's the, it's a leader. The ego or the vulture, it's more of like the, the naysayers, the people who are a little bit more self-serving in your environment. For those of you who are in a little bit of a leadership capacity, it's balancing out what's better for the greater good, what's good, good for the group, but at the same time, not isolating other people so that it's, it's almost like being very, very careful about how you come across, being very careful about what you do, being very careful be, with being a good leader without isolating elements, because in that way, it could breed discontent and it could breed envy and it could breed like, you know, it's like setting yourself up to make enemies where you don't have to. So learning to be more diplomatic, learning to be more inclusive of people and their needs, but at the same time, making decisions 
so that it could benefit the greater good. So it's a very fine balance that I feel many of you who are, especially in leadership positions, are finding yourselves in. And then I'm also seeing as well, for those of you um, where this is like a, a family situation, I almost feel like a lot of people are making heavy, heavy demands on you, okay? And I feel like, you know, you have a lot of love, a lot of un like understanding, a lot of um, your energy is very soft, very accommodating. You know, you're kind of like this angel here trying to appease everybody, trying to do things for everybody. And you do it with such grace. You don't complain about it. You don't sit there and whine and you don't sit there exasperated that the other people keep coming back to you. I feel like you do whatever is necessary to, to get things done. And I also feel as a result of that, it's important for you to kind of like draw boundaries early on. It's important for you to learn to say no. And it's especially important for you to preserve that time and space for yourself so that you have the time and the opportunities to do things for yourself. Okay, so learning to draw back and learning not to get involved in other people's conflicts and especially... Um, not come to everybody's rescue, okay? Um, there's a lot of financial blessings that have been coming in for you, and it's all coming in. It's like the, the um, coming back home to roost, and it's mainly because you have done a lot of good work. So I see many, many of you working, you know, outside of like working hours, like bringing work home, doing a lot of work, putting in a lot of time, putting in a lot of energy, getting things moving and stabilizing your financial life. Okay. And what we have here is the eight of pentacles, eight of disc. Everything that you have planted is starting to bear fruit. So I see for many of you, you might be in a position where you are either getting a promotion, salary increases, or there's some type of an uptick when it comes to your uh, financial situation right now. And with additional finances, sorry for the beeping, with additional finances, what it basically means is that we have already achieved it. We have already made it. Six of Dis, Six of Pentacles, success. It's already here in the physical world for you. And as a result of that, you don't have to strive so hard. You can kind of sit back and relax a little bit and, you know, allow yourself more fun. Allow yourself to just kind of like get your head out of the sand and just look around you and see what's around you and connect with more people. I feel like you have a lot of people in your environment, but it seems almost like the relationships are very heavy and a little bit more on the serious end, okay? It could be like, you know, having a relationship partner and there's you guys are doing things all the time and there's just a lot of things that you're doing for the relationship partner or to sustain the relationship. I see many of you in a relationship and you might have children and you're doing a lot to, you know, take the kids home, cook for them, um, doing all these very serious, responsible things in order to maintain the relationship. Okay? Like cooking for your partner, cooking for the kids, cleaning the house. But in between all of those chores, I don't see an opportunity to kind of go out and, and enjoy life and, you know, do lighthearted things. Every step seems to be a lot of responsibilities. And then I also see relationships with family members as well, where you might be the one that's, you know, kind of like the, the sounding board. You're helping them solve their problems. And I also feel like you're the one that comes in if they, they are having some type of a crisis with their partner, with their friends, with other family members. So on the relationship front, the responsibilities kind of override the overall 
emotional aspect of those types of relationships. And as a result of it, you kind of need to find relationships that are a little bit more lighthearted, that are a little bit more where the other per the other person, and I'm not just talking about love, I mean like even friendships where they're not so heavy and emotionally demanding, okay? This is the Five of Cups here. And so I feel like some of these relationships have been very burdensome. And they are so burdensome. They have been in the past where you're just like, no, I'm, I'm just going to live my life as if, you know, every man's an island. I don't want to be bogged down with other people's drama and other people's problems. But it's asking you honestly to seek relationships from the get go that are a little bit more, you know, finding people that are on your wavelength, finding people that don't have these problems, finding people whose energies are a little bit more highly elevated so that they already know how to take care of their problems and you don't have to be the one to intervene and step in. So there, I feel like this energy for this month is a lot more about stepping outside of our comfort zone and connecting with people and especially nurture the good relationships and kind of push back on the negative relationships. Okay. And that is family, friends, because you really need to have time to yourself and to build up your, your free time and to do things that are more fun, more joyful and more replenishing for your own emotional needs. Okay. Um, what I have as well is this, the bottom row is the people that you're dealing with in particular, especially if it's a relationship partner. I have here the Knight of Wands and the Knight in this deck is uh, the King. Okay, so this is a little bit different. So the Knight of Wands, this is like the King of Wands. And what I feel is for some of you, you might be in a relationship with this person there are a lot of changes that are happening in your life. Spiritual ascension, trying to figure out how to make yourself happy, trying to figure out what you need independent of other people, trying to figure out for yourself your life path, what you need in order to, serve, uh, to, to, to progress. And I feel for many of you, there's this sense of like uh, emotional expansion as well as intellectual expansion. You're learning, you're growing, you're starting to figure out how you can start to build wealth. And if you are in a relationship here with a fire sign, this is somebody who has a lot of ideas, who has a lot of plans and who sees you as like their ideal partner. So there is a lot of love in this situation. But I feel like you are at a point where you might, you're transforming at such great speed that you might feel like you're outgrowing this person. It's almost like they're struggling to catch up to you. The dynamics between these two people, it's very strong. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of people when you're together. It seems like, you know, there are a lot of people that are coming and going in your life. And this is a person that brings a lot of acquaintances into your environment, into your circle. But in a way, because their energy is so strong, you might feel like they are inadvertently bringing more chaos, more problems, uh, taking up too much of your time. Okay, and so if this is the case, I want you to really look at this and to try to figure out where you can draw boundaries just a little bit. Because like I said, you're changing, you're moving forward, you're ascending. And this concept about needing time for yourself, needing to, you know, do things that you enjoy. So trying to draw the boundaries between, you know, where does my time end and where you can come in and, you know, spend time with me. I feel like it's really important to draw those boundaries early on. So I do feel this is somebody where the relationship might 
require you know it's like it's it's require it's requiring or demanding a lot of time for your from you time that you might not have to take care of things that you need to take care of on your end time that you want to just you know sit alone listen to music do the recreational things that you want but there's heavy demands here i also see there's a lot of changes happening in your work environment Either there's more responsibilities that are coming into the picture, more positions, like I see a little bit of an expansion in the work environment. And you have some really good cards when it comes to work, financial stability, but also getting a lot of recognition in the work environment. So I almost feel like the company, the place that you're working at, there's like, there's expansion, there's um more opportunities to rise laterally, to get pay increases, to get promotions, and to kind of rise to the top. And as a result of it, I feel like there might be relationships that you are starting to see how it's really cutting into your time. And you're starting to see as well where the other person um, might not, in the greater scheme of things, fit in your life trajectory long term. So this is something to think about. Um, what I have as well is I have the King of Pentacles. And we have here the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This seems to me like a, a tug of war, kind of like a being pulled in two different directions, okay? And right in the middle, this is the Eight of Swords, and in this deck is the card of Interference. So there might, for those of you in relationships, there might be interference from other people. There might be interference, like third party interference in a relationships. And um, I feel for some of you, it doesn't have to be like, you know, a, a physical person like cheating or anything like that. It could be family dynamics, um, ways of, you know, like, I, I guess... Um, Things that we we kind of grow up with, we believe that relationships are supposed to be like this. We believe that gender roles, how they play out in relationships, the the one person's supposed to do this, the other person's supposed to do that. All of those things, I feel like, are being kind of tossed up, are being thrown up in the air, and there's like almost like a gender role reversal. And I also feel interference coming through from your side of the family, their side of the family, and especially if you have children. So there's a lack of consensus and a lack of direction when it comes to, you know, where are we headed? But I also feel there is a very strong energy here about feeling like you've outgrown one relationship and wanting to move forward, wanting to implement some type of a change. But at the same time, you guys are very deeply loyal and you're not ready yet to scrap one relationship because of that sense of responsibility and that sense of loyalty to the person that might have been in your life for a very long time. And I also feel like you're kind of at a crossroads trying to figure out, you know, what do I do in this situation? Um, looking at potentially greener pastures elsewhere and this is the card of guilt here nine of swords feeling almost like you want to make a change in a different direction but you're not ready yet to leave this person behind for those of you in a relationship as well i feel like your partner is also undergoing a lot of changes in his or her life there's a lot of passion there's a lot of loyalty here and there's a lot of like um you know this this sense of like blind faith and blind trust there's a lot of trust here there's a lot of dignity and trust and honesty and loyalty associated with one relationship and it's making it very difficult for you to leave that relationship um, two people are both ascending or both changing or both growing and you don't have to grow apart. You just have to find ways to kind of, you know, blend the energies so that the two of you can work together or can the two of you can stay together and strengthen as a unit. 
Um, I'm feeling as well, if you are at all dealing with another earth sign, okay, so Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, there will be some major revelations and changes in your relationships. I don't feel like it's going to, you know, involve like infidelity or anything like that. But I feel like there, somebody is looking forward into the horizon and trying to figure out like um, their next move professionally. If you're in a relationship with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, um, there's a lot of history here. But I do feel that you are in a period where you are contemplating change in your own life. And you might feel like this relationship is kind of holding you back a little bit. In terms of your advice for this spread, change is imminent and it is really happening for you. I see that. The changes are good. What I have here is, this is the sign of Jupiter. So two of pentacles change with the sign of Jupiter here, which basically means a fortunate change of events, okay? Things expanding for you, growing for you. And I also feel like if you haven't been able to make those emotional connections for the next five months, you will have opportunities to find people who are like-minded. You will have opportunities as well to, you know, do a lot more playful, fun activities and really socialize and enjoy yourself in a more lighthearted way with the people that you are, with the people who are in your environment. So I feel as if the overall message is changing the ways in which we kind of uh, bury our head in the sand and uh, we just, you know, disallow ourselves to have fun. We disallow ourselves to kind of step outside of our comfort zone. We disallow ourselves to form other emotional connections. So they're saying to step outside of our relationships. A lot of the times when, you know, we get bogged down with responsibilities, child care, um, with the partner, um, we kind of like leave our friends or, you know, other aspects of ourselves like on the back burner. So it's really asking you to kind of step away from that and to, you know, I, I, I feel um, finding that balance between your work life and your personal life. And then within the personal life, trying to find that balance between your relationships as well as your other relationship with, with your friends, with people, with colleagues, with, with acquaintances, to try to expand outwards. Your energy in general with this king of uh, pentacles is forward looking, okay? Forward movement, scanning the horizon and looking for more opportunities because the status quo, I feel like it's not working anymore. What I have here for your spiritual advice, I have here the tower. Change coming in. It doesn't have to be cataclysmic. It doesn't have to be, you know, irreversible. But it's forcing you to look at things in a different way. And it's forcing you to find balance, okay? And then we have here the Nine of Swords, which especially when it deals with communication, um, what I mentioned before, you know, trying to lead others, but at the same time, don't isolate any... Uh, segment of the people that you're trying to lead because that is going to create a lot of dissidence. It's going to create, it, it's going to create, it's like the breeding ground to, you know, for, for naysayers. It's also the breeding ground for people who might resist you because they feel um, kind of left out or marginalized based on the decisions that you make. Okay. So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys and I'll talk to you soon.